Sundowning is an issue that you hear a lot about in dementia and it can be really scary. I look kind of scary right now. It's been one of those mornings. Anyway, um, my understanding is that it has something to do with the circadian rhythms in the brain and that oftentimes around the time that the sun goes down, it can really affect certain patients with dementia and they can like totally change their personalities. And, and that's what's scary because it's something that feels out of our control. Um, for uh, Ben, who's got Lewy body dementia, it's not as common. It's more common in Alzheimer's. Uh, but still, I have to be conscious in this, this time of day, it's around noon right now for us, um, where his circadian rhythms seem to be affected. It could be because um, he's got uh, some divergent sleep patterns, and that's maybe why he was able to be a musician and work nights. Uh, because right around 11, 12 o'clock, whoa, energy ramps up so intensely, he cannot sit down to eat lunch. He can sit down to eat dinner, but not lunch. That's why I need to give sandwiches, right, honey? And he's just got to, you know, keep, keep moving. <laughs> so um, let's start the conversation going around these times of day, whether it's more traditional sundowning or any time of day when your loved one seems to really be ramped up or have some dramatic change and see if we can share some tips for how to handle it. The first thing I gotta do is breathe and not necessarily get caught up in their patterns. I'm gonna do my best to help Ben relax, but um, he's in God's hands, not mine. Yay!